Hey guys. You know, one of the things, I, I think it was probably the catalyst uh, for me moving over from uh, from Linux to BSD, to FreeBSD um, specifically, um, was um, the unpredictability of package management. Like I really, I had this, I, I think I told you already, I was running Arch Linux before, um, before I installed, free, before I converted to, the, to, to BSD. And, um, you know, as your system grows, you, your system becomes more and more unstable. Things start to go wrong, um, especially with Arch because it was, um, you know, you've got the, the, main, the main repository and then the user repository. And, um, you know, it just takes one package to not be maintained properly or, um, you know, some dependency goes wrong and suddenly you run an upgrade and, and it's just a, it becomes a, a real mess. You know, it's not that you can't always recover from that mess, but um, it's just, I think it was this, it was just the, um, you know, crossing your fingers when you run an upgrade every time, um, kind of just making sure, having a kind of, um, I, I guess, it just, just that sense of things not being stable um, was enough to kind of get me to, to kind of reconsider. So anyway, I... Um, yeah, I, I thought I'd just do do this video because a, a package issue came up for me yesterday. I'll, I'll kind of show you in a second. Um, if I was to compare um, FreeBSD and OpenBSD's package management, I, I would have to say I, I prefer OpenBSD's package management um, in terms of trust. So OpenBSD, I consider more trustworthy. Like I, I would install any package, uh, PKG... Um, actually, you know what? SSH. Oh. Um, let me just get into this. Oh. Um, yeah, so with um, OpenBSD, it's uh, PKG add. You know, I, I would happily, I would freely uh, up, uh, install anything, upgrade anything on OpenBSD without even thinking twice about it because I, I know how meticulous they are about doing, uh, about checking things and making sure everything's secure and stable. Um, on, uh, on FreeBSD, um, probably 99%, but I, I prefer the FreeBSD package management in the sense that it's more verbose. Like you... You, you have a lot better idea of what's going on. Like the um, the, the OpenBSD package management doesn't uh, doesn't give you uh, prompts normally. It kind of just it doesn't run you through the, the dependencies packages that will be removed or upgraded or um, you know various changes that might have occurred. It kind of just it will just go straight ahead and do it, um, which is fine. But you know I, I just I I like the interactiveness of interactiveness of um, of the FreeBSD package management. Anyway, I had an issue uh, yesterday uh, where I I ran a massive um, I ran a massive upgrade, um, and one of my packages, this package here, lib libva, libva, um, something went wrong with it, and I couldn't play audio or video. Um, what happened was I had built some stuff in Pudria, which I've gone through before with you guys, and um, LibVA was at like one one minor version higher in Pudria than it was in the main FreeBSD repository. So um, I couldn't figure out why nothing was working. It was um, uh, shared libraries weren't being just nothing was uh, lining up the way it should have. Um, what I what I ended up having to do like if you if you want to. So let me go back. Let me go back a step first. If you want to install a package in uh, FreeBSD, PKG install, let's say libva. Um, if that package is already installed and you want to reinstall it, um, PKG install hyphen f libva, and this will actually. In fact, I can show you. Um, this will actually give you a reinstallation prompt. So. Um, I don't know why they don't have like a PKG reinstall. Anyway, that's that's how you reinstall something is you um, you hyphen F it, you force it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, this one has come from my Pudria, my custom, I, I've got a custom repository, um, local repository where I customize packages. Um, 
if I wanted to, let's say I had libva installed from the FreeBSD repository and I wanted it to be, I wanted the same version number to be installed from my local Pudria repository instead, you can do pk, um, pkg install um, hyphen r, which is for repository, and then stipulate um, Pudria or whatever it is, and then hyphen f and then libva. Um, and so that would that would then install the package from the, the Pudria repository and uh, force a reinstallation. Um, and so that's what I ended up having to do yesterday. Um, and, and I kind of I went through that and I thought, oh, that'd be a, that'd be a good topic just to bring up in a video. Um, for a lot of people who are, I've had a lot of people ask me about package management and um, the, uh, I think I went through this before, but there are basically two main ways to install programs in FreeBSD. One is through the traditional ports method. So, um, you know, basically CDing into one of these directories here and, um, and make installing. So you just, you CD into whatever program you want there, you make install, or make install clean, and it will download the source, compile it, and um, install it that way. The, the more common way um, or newer method, I guess you could say, is just pkg install package name. Um, and then, of course, if you... Let me do this. Uh, now I'm all over the place. Okay. You know, if you wanted to, like... Let's say you wanted to install um, uh, Newsboat... You come in here to fresh ports and um, look it up. So if you're a Linux person and you're thinking about coming over to FreeBSD and you want to see if, you've, if FreeBSD has uh, ports for the programs that you need, this is where you can come and, and look it up. Um, so let's say we go into Newsboat here and uh, you've got installation instructions right here. So the first method that I just showed you um, is to CD into this folder uh, and then run make install clean. And that will that will compile the source and and put it where it needs to be, or you can install a package that's been pre-made for you. Um, what I usually do on fresh ports, by the way, is I, I come down to the commit history, and um, I I like to if there's something new that I'm going to install, something I want to install, um, I'll come down. I'll look at the dates first of all. Um, as you can see, this is a really well maintained port. So this was just recently updated to a new version. Um, I check the descriptions here to see if there have been any issues. Um, sometimes you'll come in here and you'll find a, it might have a port, might have a package, but it'll say like 2016 or something like that. And you'll be like, okay, I don't want that on my system. You know, that's too old. It's not maintained. Um, or you might find a bunch of issues or, you know, and so it's, it's a good place to sort of come and just see what's happening. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of how, how I would find something. But yeah, for, for those of you who are interested in um, the package management on, on FreeBSD, it's it's so simple. It's just pkg install, pkg remove, um, a couple of other interest um, useful um, commands, pkg info. So if you wanted to see some information about this package here, ZSH, for example, you come down here, it's got, um, tells you the options that are on and off. These are all defaults. Um, you could you could um, turn these on if you wanted to. I've I've showed how uh, how I do this before using Pudria, or um, or you can do it through ports and configure it, and then the repository where it's coming from, size, etc. Um, what else? The uh, PKG auto remove is another really important one. This one will actually remove. Um, this will safe. Uh, this will remove dependencies that were previously installed that are safe to remove. So stuff that um, may have been. Um, here, I'll show you. PG. See, I've got some stuff on here that has been installed as a dependency before. Uh, this is not stuff that I've I've installed myself, but it's just stuff that was installed by the operating system as a dependency, um, and it's safe to remove that. It means I'm I'm not I'm not using it. So. Um, and you see, you can see what it will free up here. It will free up 393 meg. 
Um, you can also do PKG clean. Um, this is, I ran this yesterday and, um, which is why it's got nothing to do. And I, I saved a couple of gig of space. So that will actually, um, that will just clean out your, um, all the, the set, all the downloaded packages that you have that you've installed that are just sitting there on your system. It will just get rid of it for you. So it's kind of a good one to do on a routine basis, just cause you'll, um, you free up a lot of space that's being used unnecessarily. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I mean the, the package management, I, I just, like I said, I, I, I just, it, it really was the, the catalyst. It was the last reason why I kind of left Linux. Cause I just, I got so frustrated with the unpredictability and I just wanted a, a system that, you know, I, I want to be able to, uh, you know, 99% of the time just run an up, upgrade and, and not have to, um, not be concerned or not cross my fingers and hope that things aren't going to break. Um, or even if things do go wrong, if something, if, if one particular package isn't working right, that it's really, really easy to diagnose and fix. Um, so, uh, that's, that's the thing I love about this. And, uh, like I said, the open BSD one is a, it's probably a simpler, um, package management. Um, but it's, it's far more trustworthy. It's probably the most trustworthy package management that I've seen of any operating system, really. I mean, you just, you just know that it's going to, it's going to go right. And I've never had issues with it. So yeah, that's, um, that's it guys. Um, thanks.